<clears throat> All right, um, this is a response to a comment I got. Uh, you know who you are. Uh, you've got the HP Compact, or I'm sorry, the HP Pavilion DV6809WM, and um, you got it a while ago, and you're having some trouble with uh, the audio lagging, and um, the whole thing being a little sluggish. Um, I this morning. I uh, sent you a comment, or sent you rather an email back with a couple things on um, ho uh, hopefully how to get around that. But um, just thought, I'm sitting down here in my basement, I don't got anything else to do. I'll go ahead and make a video on that. So I've got uh, one uploading now, one in line after that, and then this one. So um, might be a little bit before this is up, but that's okay. So. Um, in my um, email response, I said open disk cleanup. Hit start, type in disk, and uh, disk cleanup. Run that. I'll let it run here, just a second. While it's doing that, open disk defragmenter. Type in disk. There it is, second one down for me, open disk defragmenter. Click on defragment now. Check the check probably all of those, unless you have an SD card or a flash drive plugged in. Then hit OK, and then it'll defragment your hard disk. It'll take a long time, but it's going to help a lot. I don't want to do that right now. I'm going to close it. Um, open up a web browser and go to www. www. Ccleaner. C C L E A N E R. Ccleaner. dot com. When you get here, I've been using this application for years. When you get here. Click on download C Cleaner now. It's kind of over to the right a little bit. Click on that. And while that's loading, go back over to disk cleanup. Here it is. Um, on the left, check every single box there, unless there's something you know you don't want to get rid of. But I'm checking every single box. Then go over to the More Options tab up at the top. Then down at the bottom, or um, a little bit off the bottom, there's something that says Clean Up under the in the little box of System Restore and Shadow Copy. Click Clean Up and then delete. And then OK and then delete files. And that'll go away when it's done. That'll save you a lot of space and make it go a lot faster. Go back over to your web browser. And then on the bottom, click on the bottom of the page before you scroll, click alternative download. Click on that. It'll take a couple seconds. It'll bring up your download window, which it should in three, two, one, zero. There it is. Save the file and then run the installer. No viruses, I, I've used it for a long time. Then go and open it. It'll look like this. Check all the boxes you want. You can read that, decipher what you want. And then hit Run Cleaner, down in the bottom right of the window. Um, it'll, it'll probably take a, a, a little bit for it to do that. Okay, then go over to the left, Registry, in that tab. Scan for issues, down at the bottom, bottom right. There's two buttons, Fix, Select an Issue, and Scan. For issues, click the left one, scan for issues, let it find them, then click fix selected issues, fix all selected issues, OK, and then close, and then you're done with that. Run that periodically. Um, about your audio lagging, mine does that too. Um, that's OK, I suppose that might be a good thing. Well, no, but because it's, it's caching other things, your system bus is working. It shouldn't do this for more than a couple of seconds unless you have um, a really hardcore processing or system bus application open that's sucking all the system power resources um, or the FSB front side bus of your processor or your CPU. Um, close applications you don't need, that's going to help you. And uh, also run Windows Defender. Start menu, type in Windows Defender and then open that and then go up to the scan tab up at the top. Don't click it, click the little arrow and then full scan. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to do it. You might have a virus and that'll get rid of it. I love Windows Defender. So um, good luck with that. Hopefully this can help you a little bit more um, along with what I said and uh, thanks for watching.